Hey yo, it's it Dave. What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna go over the 11th of June patch notes. So let's get into it. It's these patch notes are so long they need to add a table of contents. So we got first of all from first look we can see that all the celebration uh units are coming back. These are the Halloween units and that's um Valentine's and that's New Year's. So that's pretty good. If you if you don't have these units, you can pick them up on the banner. They're on they're alongside Droll too. And it's a new Diane coming. Uh, maintenance tonight. You don't need to. Well, you can see that. Update details. Gear got your rate up. <laughs> That'd be the first one. All right. Well, I don't have any gold because I was upgrading some gear. But unfortunately, if you like have a, a crap ton of gold, this is your time to shine. Event details. Gear got your rate up. I'm gonna skip a little bit through this stuff. I won't like cover like you know event durations and stuff. I'll just go over like event details the weekly mission rewards will be increased uh for boss battles also oh, you know the the daily missions you do instead of getting like two you get four and you get one more diamond for doing like certain missions too and sp dungeon special wait sp dungeon special dungeon part two. Oh, like um it's already one where you get like a guaranteed metal i always get rares but because i get shafted uh deathmatch reward drop increase let's go all right demons <laughs> all right we get extra um materials and whatnot uh any ghost leg event hmm so it's sort of like the roulette or the bingo thing you know it's like oh you get a whole bunch of free to play goodies uh event details clearing main stages free stages boss battles basically everywhere in the game you get like 10 um tickets a day 10 tickets are required for, no not 10, you don't get 10 a day you get 30 tickets a day i'm sorry but 10 tickets are like per round so you can do that three times every day any event missions part three that is i'm assuming this oh unless you unless you get tickets all right uh final reward grand fest seasonal character got your tickets times 10. okay so you can get free um summons on the droll banner i'm gonna summon for droll but hopefully i just don't get shafted all right same missions log in do final boss do oh a final boss is coming oh my goodness clear three death matches and play ghost leg event three times you can do that in like two days what no you can do that in one day because you get 30 and you can do it three times awaken five equipments not bad not bad addition of two new characters oh you would think droll being for i don't know i guess they just like find diane more appealing or well, people think diane is more appealing than droll strength eternal promise so basically getting married diane holy night diane skills info rank three rising bouquet inflicts damage equal to 360 of attack on one enemy and disables ultimate moves <laughs> okay brass bait and flake damage equal to 180 on all allies and allows only the only the use of rank one skills okay that's pretty good and ultimate same as always unique pride of giants increase all giants allies damage dealt by 40 percent not attack but just like she just makes them hit harder so you know like green lilia um little debuff card that does no damage it just like increases like damage done on on the enemy so i guess it's kind of like that in terms of you know buffs because it's not attack it's just increased damage dealt obtain all right from the the gotcha that's coming up and we have oh they tell us the type oh she's red and he's green uh green draw kind of unfortunate because i thought he would be blue so he can counter uh las vein meliotis that's unfortunate uh giga <laughs> giga pick inflict detonate damage equal to 400 percent attack and that is do more damage oh 20 percent additional damage per orb in the ult in the target's ultimate move gauge okay not bad not bad bedrock arise inflict damage equal to 180 percent attack on all enemies disable buffs and debuff skills hmm is this only for rank three was it like rank two or can it be at rank one as well uh giga fall inflicts charge which is ignores that yeah ignores defense oh what she was resistance ignores defense damage equal to 455 percent attack on all enemies unique shackles every time an enemy ultimate move gauge reaches five disable ultimate moves for two turns that's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie wait oh disables so this isn't just a debuff this is like you know green coin shot bond if you actually get his passive to to proc so within two turns they get like a little 
great debuff and they can't like cleanse it so that's 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 pretty nice he just said he's just putting a stop to old rush team huh? all right both of them together you, she can't you can't use ultimate moves with her with this card and he has a passive for when they get it you can just like shut them down and then when it goes away you can just shut them again shut them down again with diane <laughs> it's pretty that's a nice wombo combo for all teams uh, commandment applies a buff that increases resistance by 30% for three turns every time an ally and enemy receives damage from skills. So anytime they're attacked. Wait, whoa. So it stacks. Applies a buff that increases. Oh, so like in story mode, every time you hit him, he got like. It was hard. I think it was hardening, but I don't think it was increased resistance. Hmm. That's interesting. And number two, Grand Cross Anniversary Seasonal Character Return, gotcha. So they're gonna be on this banner. Uh, you can get obtainable locations. Oh, you can get from Prana Reward, or you can get a pack, or you can just like summon on it. Uh, lineup is Droll and Diane. <laughs> Droll of Patience, so I guess he should, I guess I should have known he was HP when I read Patience, huh? Other seasonal characters, the Halloween, the New Year's, and the valentine units so if you don't got them uh the halloween units are particularly good elaine is good for like i think she's good for a red demon and i think this elaine is good for like crimson and i don't know about jenna and jenna and zaneri so i'll have to like look at them because i didn't summon for them when they came out and i really didn't care about them but if i'm gonna be summoning on this banner i might i might mess around and pull them oh well, I heard they got increased rates too. Drow will not be added into the regular pool lineup in the future. New Diane and previous seasonal characters will not be. Okay. Good. All right. All right. That's interesting. They didn't mention increased rates. I saw it in a in a patch notes on our Discord. All right. Number three. Drow costume set. Got to Earth. All right. It's, it's not bad. Not bad. It kind of looks like wear more, but with like what? It's less revealing. <laughs> All right. It's about two thousand yen. New commemorative costume set, Eternal Promise and True Promise. King looking clean, look at that, oh my goodness, Diane looking nice dude. I wish I could have showed her, showed her hammer more, but gave us more than one screenshot, but nonetheless, she looking good. They both, both of them looking good, looking real good. All right. King ain't wearing no socks though. All right, wearable characters, King and Diane. Uh, obtainable location, special effects. Equipping all three pieces of costume will grant you additional skip tickets on patrol once per day per costume set. Hmm, okay, I don't know. Might be worth, I mean, if you have them, and you, and you like, you have all the Dianes, like 80, like super attack six, or, or if Diane, Diane and King is your thing, that's great, honestly. Equipping all costumes will grant you additional skill. So, do they gotta be in the patrol, or do they just gotta be equipped, like in your box? I don't know how that will entail, but we'll find out, we'll find out. Uh, five new, no, I thought I said five new packs, five new pack added, uh, anniversary special pack. This is like the, the base one. This one is like step two. And this one is like mega, mega whale. <laughs> it's like, this is like super, super Saiyan, super Saiyan two, super Saiyan three. It's like, oh, it doesn't make sense. This one is, um, you get like three tickets and it's like a dollar, right? And you can only get five. That's, that's nice. That's nice. If you're like. If you don't want to spend too much on a game and then this one is like, oh, you want to upgrade some gear? You want to engrave a couple of people? You want some tickets? Like, <laughs> you want to awaken up two people? It's nice. But then this one is just like stupid beyond belief. You get 52 tickets. And I think you like, this is like sort of like slot one, slot two, and slot three. You can like pick one from each slot. So like, as soon as you buy, you can get questionnaire gotcha tickets. And then slot two, you can get another questionnaire gotcha tickets. You get like 70, what's 77 gotcha tickets. I don't know. I might, I might pick one of these up. In slot three, you can pick up between horns, ears, outfit, upgrade material, weapons, cosmetics, or whatever you want. And this is around 10,000 yen. I forgot how much exactly that is. Oh, this one was $45. This was a, this, no, 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 no. I'll take that back. This one was like a dollar. And then this one is like, I want to say around 20. No. Oh. I think this one was $45 and this one is like freaking $90 or something like that. Note the Grand Cross Fest questionnaire gotcha banner is extended until the 29th of June. <laughs> oh, this anniversary banner is up till 
forever before main wait june 29th of june one day before maintenance from 18th of june okay that's pretty cool so if you get more tickets you can just summon on the elizabeth banner uh number four anniversary special gold pack this one is just like you can skip tickets and potions and 30 gems oh yeah exactly i called it and 3.5 million gold not bad not bad you get three per account i don't know if i'm gonna pick that one up but if you're interested hey there you go number six grand fest seasonal costume return now i've been thinking about this since last night i, I, I this morning like around 5 a.m I, I saw that these characters were returning and i was wondering oh should i get the costumes for the for the new year's unit because you know they get like guaranteed um demons and i'm like oh man i got this far without the without the skins i don't know i'm wondering if i should get them but then it's like i want to save my diamonds in case i pull what if i don't get droll first no if i get the diamonds no it i have diamonds right but then if i get the costumes i'll have like well let's see the lineup halloween units new year units Weapons and cosmetics will be available for 25 diamonds instead of 30. I, w I was thinking it was 30, but they did discount it a little bit. So it's 25. I think that's around 150 because I don't think Elizabeth has an attack item. She just uses her hands, right? So it's 25. And then Meliodas is 50 and Jericho is 50. 125. I have to spend 125 gems and I think I have around 750 right now. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I should get it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll sleep on it, you know? <laughs> All right, number seven, event final boss. Oh, we got Twigo, Taizu. I forgot this new name. That's the, um, isn't that the, um, Don's War guy? Uh, let's, let's, let's read, actually. Uh, there is no limit to how many times you can participate per day. Final boss tally, final boss season, shop duration. Oh, like, you just do it. Oh, top 30% gets 10 engraving stones, 10 hammers. Not bad. You get 30 diamonds for getting top 50. Not bad. Okay. And you get pendants, diamonds all the way up. And you get um costume bucks and oh king eternal. Oh, you can get them for free if you just like get top 70%. Not bad. Oh, costume set. Hmm. All right. Final boss rewards. Uh, you get a pendant, diamonds, festival. T oh, they just spreading out these t these ticket banners, huh? Grand first seasonal ticket banners. And that's on um, what. At 200, no, it's 20k for diamonds, and this is cumulative of 10k. So if you get like, oh, all right, final boss shop exchange, of course you get like, like I, ooh. So her cosmetic is grindable. I thought you would have to buy it. Okay, you can just grind it, grind this event out, and then get that for free. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that's that's for free. Getting graving stones. I need the hammers. I need the I don't need the um, water. I don't need the chalices. I need five star awakening stones, anvils, wings, horns. Ah, yeah, yeah. I don't need all that. I just need everything else. Tower of Challenge. This is what we all been waiting for. <laughs> Honestly, uh, here we go. What is the Tower of Challenge? Tower of Challenge consists of 25 floors, and you will be able to obtain rewards such as super awakening coins, gold, diamond, part two, and part one tickets. Uh, the rewards are only available upon first clear. If you change the challenge party halfway through, you will not be able to obtain the rewards you have already gotten. All right, note, you can only use four characters from the challenge party. Association characters can be changed as special floors, save points. You will be able to edit your t previous party of four. If you change the characters before clearing a special or a save point, you will be returned to the last save point. Special floor, oh, save points are every five floors and will be automatically saved. If there is no save points, you will return to the first floor. The tower challenge is seasonal and when the season ends, the rewards and clear floors will be reset. Okay, not bad. Sounds different. It's, it's new, and it's a. I think it sounds like a challenge. Hopefully, it just isn't just a piece of piece of cake. Honestly, 100k gold, and we get these little platinum things. Apparently, Zenkai Awakening is coming to Grand Cross because you need these to like freaking seven star anybody. Diamond Bogo purchase limit. Buy one get one. 
I guess. Uh, we'll see what that entails. Well, we already know what it entails because we've been getting those. New battle events. Uh, you get five per day. You get Oh, you get training potions. Nice, nice, nice. I need those for sure to get up. Maybe if I get some new units. Uh, system changes and additions. New heroes with engraving troll. Five. No, gear. Five star awakening bonus. Apparently, upon awakening five star awakening SSR gear, you will receive one diamond. So, <laughs> if you like got, a, got up a lot of SSR gear sets, you're pretty set. Get a hefty amount of diamonds. Maybe, I don't know. I think I might get 30 or 40. Or something like that gear awakening prior to the update including ur gear will be counted and the respective diamond rewards will be given out oh including key ur gear let's go all right might get extra actually collect the rewards between 11th of june and 10th of july in the mail the awakening bonus can be obtained infinitely oh, okay so from here on out you can just keep upgrading ssr gear <laughs> Oh my goodness, this guy has 7,000 diamonds. Y'all thought I had a lot. 7,000, bro? Relax, bro. Who, who has 7,000 diamonds? Nearly 8,000. All right, three. Additions of Super Attack Awakenings. Addition of Super Awakening System. My bad, I'm sorry. Uh, Yeah, like Zenkai. See right here? You can go past six star by just getting these. Um, you need. I think you need one of these to even do it, and then you can just use gold coins or whatever you have in your box extra to like push it all the way through what is that i think that's recovery rate so she get extra extra hp this is oh that's a defensive stat that's on um, crit resistance and that's recovery rate so plus nine whoa that's a the whopping that's a lot <laughs> all right you are now able to super awaken units that are already full awakened six star you'll be able to further super awaken the unit based on the ultimate level six star awakening gives one super awakening chance okay higher ultimate levels Gives the awakening chance too so are right, you are automatically get one from having a you know maxed out but then you get an extra four am i am i tripping yeah extra four times so one two three oh so you can't like 12 star you can just go to 11 star based on like your super attack level so lots of meliotis is about to just beat up everybody even more so that's going to be scary especially if you want to play your pvp if it might pop off uh the max amount of time yeah okay i already read that materials needed for super awakening super awakening coin obtainable through the tower of challenges platinum coins gold coins silver coins the gauge increase will differ based on the rarity of the coin used oh my god they, bro we want to use our coins to get coin shop units <laughs> we gotta push oh no all coins can be used except for festival coins oh okay coins required will differ based on the character's rarity using the same coin as the unit you are super awakening will not increase the gauge more ah unfortunate obtainable locations for super super awakening coin can be changed in the future okay uh extra gauge will not be carried over to the next level whoa why would i put extra gauge would y'all not tell me to stop or y'all just gonna let me put everything every coin coin i have in my box in there i don't know i feel like i should put something in place so like hey stop you're at max okay salvage screen information oh it's a little icon it's nothing right here but now you can see the little what you got i mean i can kind of tell from like looking at the color scheme of the piece of equipment but now they add the little icon so you know you're breaking down some um who's breaking down you are your uh breaking down attack items oh uh, you know like attack gear sets and what's this regeneration defense uh information regarding awakening status of gear will be added to the salvage system number five are we almost done yeah we're almost done number five achievement title icon added okay let's see oh well not, not much to read into here just like just here as you see it number six village donation system changes you are now able to set the amount to donate to villages i don't know who's donating on the regular i just donate when it's dependent um donation event out so is that king flying? i don't know might be you are all right i read that okay skip ticket changes you are now able to increase the upper limit of the skip ticket runs based on the maxed amount of skip tickets previously capped at five here we go that's the real stuff now you can just grind books super super uber fast 
gotcha info button added this was just I, I think i saw it on the discord it'll just tell you if somebody's exclusive or not but yeah that's pretty much it right there balancing changing detonate which is um drills yeah it's one of drill skills increases damage by 20 percent. it was 15 percent though so effective characters is sr speed arthur yep uh strength of latte speed molascula and speed millum ultimate okay bug fixes fixed an issue with hero revived by the ultimate unique of the new elizabeth was not able to oh it's not able to be buff debuff or use stance hmm fix an issue where you skip tickets new year custom set effect placed on team two to five will not spawn the correct death match okay that's fixed yamcha told me about this um fix so they fixed it no yamcha told me about this bug but now they fixed it so he'll be happy to hear that number three fix an issue where commandment commandments commandment effect did not a did not activate after getting revived by goddess elizabeth oh i didn't even know that existed fix an issue where the confirmation button after deathmatch would not display fix an issue where you're not be able to join deathmatch invitations after tapping the button and mind speed of mind speed did not show up in the association to dairy okay dairy i said dairy uh uh, issue where skip tickets does not register the correct costume effect after changing into costume. Uh, fixed an issue where character awakening animation did not display correctly in landscape mode. Others, free full awakening emblem uses changes. Previously, it had a limit up to the 29th of June. Now it will be available forever. Uh, for, so you can just hold on to that extension of Grand Fest questionnaire banner from the 18th to the 29th. Rewards for Giant Hog Battle 50,000 retweet campaign will be given out after maintenance. You get human tickets, uh, pendants, race tickets, part one SSR ticket, and part two SSR ticket. Nobody really cares about this race ticket. Um, rewards of the new and comeback campaign will be given out after man too. yeah we got a lot of goodies coming others this should have been up, up at the top we get more tickets we get grand Fu we get grand fest special step up tickets which is the matrona banner two tickets and you get part one and part two tickets so that's nice you can see you might be able to pull some fire off those all right that is pretty much it everybody let me know what you're most excited for obviously droll isn't the most hype character but nonetheless this part two does bring a lot of stuff with it let me know what you're gonna pick up are you gonna pick up any packs are you gonna summon for drool are you just gonna go all in on the rest of um ellie's banner uh the decisions will be made in terms of me picking up the new year's skins or whatnot i think i need them but i feel like i got this far without them you know it's like do i really need them and plus i'm thinking if i might get shafted on the drool banner who knows i might need every diamond i can get so that's gonna do it for today's video thank you guys for watching and sticking around to the later parts of the video if you are new make sure you subscribe to the boy and you actually like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next one all right peace